In this upcoming video, GTI Predictive Technology is going to introduce Vibe RMS for the iPhone. Welcome to GTI Predictive Technology. My name is Tom Honig. Uh, we're here to do another video, and today we're specifically going to be talking about Vibe RMS on the iPhone. Um, for four years now, we've been doing a fantastic job of bringing the whole iPad iOS platform to all of our predictive users for balancing vibration analysis, thermography, uh, level alignment, um, laser shaft alignment, all these different tools on one platform. And there's been one common theme that our customers have been asking us, can you do a simple version of this on our iPhone so that we don't have to have a dedicated analyzer? And up until now, we haven't had that real estate space or the right layout for that type of platform on the iPhone. With the introduction of iPhone 6 and 6 Plus, and even the 5, we've gotten a lot more screen real estate and teaming up with our team of developers, we've come up with what we think is a fantastic offering. It's called Vibe RMS. I'm going to project it behind me on the screen. I'm going to actually run a test. I'm going to show you the hardware here that we're going to use with Vibe RMS. We are going to be offering our full wireless accelerometer to work with iPhone, which makes uh, that this is our top line model. Um, I'm going to be running that in a moment. I'm going to run this motor. But for under $1,000, you will be able to buy a single channel plug right into the dock port or the lightning connector of the iPhone directly uh, into the accelerometer so that you can take readings throughout your plan on any piece of equipment, just as sophisticated as you can do with a full vibration analyzer. And what we've done is we fit this all in the screen so that you get full spectrum, but you also get all those key things in your report. And I'm going to go through with that right now with you and put it on the screen behind you, or behind me, I should say. So as I open Vibe RMS here, you can see a beautiful layout. And one of the first buttons on the bottom is you can actually build a machine right from, so if you don't have one of the machines that we've already picked in our hierarchy of a motor, pump, fan, or combination, you can actually, just as I'm going to do here, take a photo of this motor, hit the use photo button, and all of a sudden you're able to lay out all your different points of V1 and H1 right on the motor and be able to move those around and size them up so that when you save this motor, you're able to start saving a hierarchy of special items that you're measuring each month or each week or whatever you feel. So I'm just going to save that quick, call it test, and immediately it says, okay, success. That's been now saved in my hierarchy. So now we're going into the main measurement and you can see I've got a, a, a default motor with all the different, on the right you see I've got a scale bar of green, yellow, and red, which is my severity chart, which is either by ISO severity or your own personal severity. And all those little icons are right above the motor and all the key points that you need to touch in order to take those readings. So I would move my accelerometer to those different points and take those measurements just as the picture is telling me how to do. And then what do we do after that? We simply hit the report button. Everything is laid out in front of me. I've got my logo, the name of what I tested, a photo of what I've tested, the date, the time, the frequency, um, my danger threshold, my alert thresholds are all in there either by ISO. And as you see me scroll down here, now we've got our velocity spectrums, every single one I've taken, and my acceleration spectrums, every single one I've taken. And that's all built into the report. And as you can see on the bottom of the screen, I can simply email that. I can save it to the app to email it later, or I can wirelessly print to a local wireless printer right on the network. Also, you see a paper clip there. I can also paper clip from the library, meaning the photo library, or from the camera image, any other spectrum or photo that I've saved, like a thermal image from my thermal image camera, I can post to this report and simply email it out. So again, folks, nothing can be simpler. This is a real compliment to our full vibration analysis package. Anybody can pull from their waist a phone and have a simple one channel accelerometer and a small pouch and start doing readings and emailing them to the appropriate people 
to find out what condition our assets are in. If you would like some more information on this, please reach out to us at www.gtipredictive.com or please like us at the bottom of this video or simply call us at 603-669-5993. Uh, again, everybody, we welcome you to Vibe RMS on the iPhone.